Raven Steals the Light In the beginning, before the great flood had come and receded, the world lay in total darkness. An old man, who lived with his daughter, owned all the light, but he kept it hidden away in a box because he feared that his daughter was ugly, and so they all stumbled about in the darkness. The raven didn't like these circumstances at all. He didn't like stumbling about in the darkness, bumping into things and knocking things over, so he decided he would steal the light for himself. The only thing Raven had to figure out was how he was going to steal it. He knew he couldn't just fly in and grab the light, because the old man would hear him. So he thought and thought, and when his daughter went down to the stream to fetch water, he got an idea. Raven made himself as small as a needle and jumped in the water. When the girl took a sip of water, she swallowed him as well, and there Raven stayed inside the girl for nine months, slowly growing into a baby boy. Since the old man couldn't see what was going on, he didn't know about the pregnancy, and by the time the girl gave birth, he was too overjoyed to protest or worry about how it happened. The old man loved the small boy, and he doted on him and gave him everything he asked for, but the one thing Raven wanted, the box of light, was kept high on a shelf and far out of reach. When the young boy Raven was old enough to walk, he tried to steal the box, but the old man caught him in the act and stopped him. The boy Raven cried and protested, and said it would make him ever so happy if the old man would just give him that box. The old man coveted the box, but his love for his son won out, and he removed the outermost box and gave it to the Raven. The next day, Raven again asked the old man for the box on the shelf, and again the old man reluctantly gave the boy the box only for Raven to find there was yet another box inside of it. This repeated several times, until Raven started to notice the light shining through the innermost boxes. When Raven again asked the old man for the box, the old man hesitated more than usual, because there were no more boxes after this one. The old man told Raven, I cannot give you this box, but I can let you hold the light for just one moment. Usually I would not trust anyone with the light, but since I love you so much, and only want you to be happy, I will let you hold it. And so the man gave Raven the light, and almost immediately Raven took the light into his mouth, changed himself into a great bird, and flew away with the light in his beak. As Raven flew and brought light into the hills and mountains, life began to stir. He was so caught up and excited by this newly revealed land that he almost didn't see the eagle bearing down on him with outstretched talons. Swerving to escape the eagle's grasp, he dropped part of the ball of light, which scattered into small pieces and remained to this day as the moon and stars. The eagle pursued Raven beyond the edge of the world, and exhausted by the long chase, let go of what light still remained. Floating above the clouds, the sun as we know it started in the east. The first rays of the sun brought light into the old man's house. He was weeping over his great loss, and looking up, saw his daughter for the first time. She was very beautiful and he began to feel a little better.